Today's weather we have light sunny spells with heavy rains of hypocrisy. <laughs> the Quran Lee app. Subscription cheaper than Netflix, encouraging Quran reading, modern, engaging, and fun. Download it today. Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Yes, yes that's, that's right. With the Russia and Ukraine news, the media has dropped its facade, its curtain, exposed itself to everybody with regards to what it really thinks. Here are seven juicy hypocrisies that have come to light. The first one, suicide bombing. Being a Muslim, you will know that this is something that has been bashed over our heads with, of course, we know what Islam says about suicide bombing, we don't want to reinvent the wheel, but here we can see the media glorifying it. And the person that's done it, he's a hero mate, yeah that's right, he's a hero. Oh suddenly they can become heroes. I thought there was a zero tolerance policy on these things. Number two, the foreign secretary said she doesn't mind if people from the UK go and help the war that's happening in Ukraine. Hang on a minute, when Syria was being invaded, British citizens going over was a no-go. What suddenly changed here? Number three is freedom of speech. Anytime Islam is criticized, blasphemed, we're bashed over the head with freedom of speech and we're told this is something that is very important for the 21st century. Aha, until it doesn't suit you. Here RT, which is Russia today, it's being banned by the European Union, it's being banned by Australia. And now a leading Australian pay TV company Foxtel will no longer distribute our channel RT, citing the crisis in Ukraine. These very countries that are bastions of freedom of speech, what happened mate? <laughs> What happened to it? It went tuss, yeah? Number four, we know there are constant reports of journalists saying, hey, this is very surprising because these are people that look like us. And they go as far as saying, yo, blonde hair, blue eyes. It's really emotional for me because I see European people with blue eyes and blonde hair being healed. And this narrative has been pushed by American news, by British news, French news. And this is not a developing third world nation, this is Europe. Well what are the practical ramifications of this? The scenes that we can see of people clamoring on to trains to escape. We're being told that black people are being withheld. Number five, sports stars when promoting Palestine and Muslim causes either get admonished or they get ignored by the cameras that are there filming. However here with the Ukraine issue, yo they're being celebrated, well done mate, well done. Have the rules suddenly changed? Is it only for this issue you can do it temporarily? You know when kids are playing it and they go time out, time out. <sighs> okay time in, time in. What the? This is like a time out mate. And then they're gonna time in whenever a Muslim issue starts. Um, Palestine? Yeah time in mate, yeah sorry uh, that was only, I was, fi I was fixing my hair. Number six, to get the people to feel sorry for Ukraine, images that are inherently of Palestinian suffering are being confused for Ukrainian suffering. And then when they find out it's Palestinians they're like uh yeah. So the first one you can see is Israel bombing Palestine. Here you have somebody called Ahit Tamimi, a little girl standing up to an Israeli soldier. Now my question is if these images are enough to get the people to mobilize, to get them to feel disgusted, to get them vocally speaking out against Russians, then when you find out it's of Israel oppressing Palestinians, why is the same zeal not there? And finally news are coming out that in Ukraine if you are a man between the ages of 18 and 60 you are not allowed to leave, rather you are expected to stay and fight. Feminism literally just means you believe in equality of the sexes. Where are the feminists? Why don't they have an issue with this? What happened to equal rights? We need to see women there. I'm not hearing a single woman saying equal rights let's do a march mate we should be there as well. In fact where are the LGBT guys who say hang on a minute what do you mean mayor? Gender is fluid. There's hundreds of different types of gender how dare you discriminate the men? No because it doesn't suit your case there isn't it? When push comes to shove yeah it's male and female but yeah when things are a bit easy 
Yeah, there's hundreds of genders, mate. I, I think I changed my gender as I was saying that sentence to you. So, will Ukraine be accused of being transphobe? Will they be accused of being backwards? I don't know. All right, guys, don't forget to keep supporting me on Patreon. Mashallah, Jazakallah khair to all the people that have so far. But we are just about reaching halfway. So keep that support going. Let's leave it down till next time. Assalamu alaikum.